How's it going guys? It is me Chris here and here I have the second video in my new series of iPod Touch 4th generation case reviews. Today we have the Spec Burton fitted case and this is Spec's latest addition to their iPod Touch case lineup. So with that, let's get started with the review. So guys, just like last time, let's start off with the box and the extras included. So as you can see, the packaging is very similar to the Spec candy shell case. I do like this packaging because it does have this nice little Burton effect. You have Spec written on this side, Burton on the other. Um, but you can see that you just push the button out and the plastic piece slides, just like the candy shell case. And uh, also similar, there is nothing included besides the fitted removal instructions and the case itself. So there's really nothing else you're going to get in the box besides those two things. Now as far as design for this case goes, Spec describes it as being a precisely molded two-piece hard shell case. So the hard shell is coated with a matte soft touch coating and the back of the case is wrapped with tactile styling fabric. Now the one thing that you should note about this case is that it will not scratch up the back like the candy shell, however I feel like it might suffer more from liquid damage if it comes in contact with one of those. So that's just something to look out for. Overall great design of the case. So guys, as I begin to put my iPod into the case itself, you can see kind of how the two-piece design works. I found that it is very easy to put the case onto the iPod, but to take it off, it takes a little bit more work. Uh, I think that the best way to remove it is simply to slide a credit card down by the volume buttons and pry it off from there. Once the case is on though, I think it works exceptionally well and I like the open button design that the case has because the buttons are very accessible. Now it's worth noting that the buttons will not get scratched up as there is a large enough lip around all the sides that uh, there's really nothing that can touch it. Um, now with the case on, you will be unable to use an iPod, uh, the, your iPod with an iHome, uh, but you will still be able to charge the iPod via the 32 pin dock connector. The fabric on the back allows the case to slide easily into a pocket and yet the plastic on the sides make it possible to grip it in your hand. Now the one major downside I found with this case was that if you were to drop the iPod with the case on, I don't think it would provide as much shock absorption as a case such as the candy shell, just because it's merely plastic and a little bit of fabric. As far as variety goes for this case, Burton has created three different designs which are called Toil, which is the one I have, Buffalo Plaid, and Lumber Lighter, as you can see here. Now if these designs aren't doing it for you, Spec also offers their original lineup of fitted case designs. Personally, I'm not a big fan of these designs, but again, that's just personal preference. Uh, between both the Burton designs and the original Spec designs though, there's definitely something for everybody. So I'm sure by now you guys are probably saying, come on Chris, just tell us how much this costs already. Now I hate to say it guys, but this case will run you $40 from both the Apple Store and directly from spec.com simply because it is a brand new product. Also, I believe that right now these are the only two stores that carry the Burton Edition, so you will be unable to find it at any place cheaper. If you simply like the case's features though, and not necessarily the fabric choices, it's worth noting that the original fitted case lineup will cost you much less. There are different designs for this lineup, but if you prefer one of those to the Burton edition, you will be able to save yourself quite a bit of money. So is the case worth it? It depends really. If you're looking into purchasing one of the Burton edition cases, I would have to say that the case is way too expensive to go out and buy, especially since there are no extras included. The normal editions of the fitted case may be more worth it for you if you find a fabric design that appeals to you. Now in comparison to a case such as the Spec Candy Shell, you will have to ask yourself how you plan on using the case. For more overall protection, I would have to recommend the Candy Shell because although the back may scuff up easily, it has much more sh shock absorption and the iPod's buttons are not exposed, which makes it less likely for anything to come in contact with them. However, if you are looking mostly for a basic protection case and uh, you like the idea of a two-piece design, you should go with the fitted case. Now it really depends on your motives for having a case on your iPod and how you plan on using the device. So if you guys have any questions regarding this case or have any requests for upcoming case reviews, uh, be sure to let me know either in the comments or via a direct message. Until next time though, please be sure to check out my channel and subscribe as well. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. 
And if you guys want to stay up to date with all things technology, like I said, subscribe to the channel. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you later.